Uh, it was very exciting. It's such an honor to be able to play on the court. Um, I've missed playing because I haven't played for a while, but it's, you know, it shows you how much you miss the game and how much you love the game. So being back is just amazing. So, um, first of all, uh, great job on your shooting tonight. So, how do you think you were able to shoot so well today? And how did you approach um, moving off the ball to get um, good looks from the three-pointers? Well, I didn't really come in with a mindset of, oh, I got to score as much points, or I got to shoot really well. I came with a mindset of just playing hard and outworking my opponent. Um, I think, for me, it was always like, coach tells us to know your role, and with that, I just knew my role in that moment to be able to play really well defensively because we are a defensive team and the offense will flow with it. Hey, Maya, well, the team overall got out rebounded today, but you came off the bench and were able to get eight uh, by far leading the team. Was that a focus or something that coach told you to go in and, and focus on as a trend that was happening in the game to counteract that? For sure. I think our team goal or our team, what we were trying to do <laughs> was to out rebound the other team. And even though the stats didn't, we didn't do that in the stats. That was my mindset going in to just go and try and get every board I could. This goes for both of you guys. Congratulations on the win, first off. Um, this was a really tough team. Like on on the sheet, they looked like a really tough team. How were you guys able to concentrate, stay focused, um, trust in one another throughout the entire game? Because it was really close mm -hmm. from the start. To I mean, we're a defensive team, so, you know, getting in gaps, making sure we're in help when we need to be. I just think that that's the way we came into it, to play a defensive game and the offense will come. And so that's how we're able to play against them because our defense was great. And not just like our defense, but team defense. Mm -hmm. So even though there's players that are outstanding on paper, we're guarding them as a team, so nobody's left on an island. Pestons got into foul trouble. Mm -hmm. You then had to pick up Kiki Jefferson. What was it like to have to not only get buckets on, on the offensive end, but also have to draw the most difficult offense or defensive assignment in the second half? Basically having our teams back. Uh, I had EB's back, and, you know, I had to step up at that moment, and Coach always talks about it. When your name's called upon, you have to step up. And so at that moment, I just stepped up and had my teams back. How do you think the tournament that you guys had this past week prepared you for today? Uh, we played two really tough teams, and we saw a zone defense for the first time in our season. And then, on the other hand, playing against Florida, we had to learn to play against a team that wanted to speed us up and a team that wanted to deny us. And James Madison kind of did both of, us, both of those things to us today, so I think that really helped us. Now, speaking about the zone, what were both of your um, approaches to um, really getting good shots against um, the 2 3 zone they ran in the first half? One of our top keys was to play with poise, and I think at that moment we played with poise and we used a lot of shot fakes. And, you know, staying calm is the best way to go out of zone, and at that moment we were just trying to look for great shots instead of good shots. Uh, I would say the same as Nia, just quick movement of the ball, um, giving up good shots for better shots, things like that. And it seems you, uh, Maya, well, you seem to play um, much better in the second half. Um, you scored six of your eight points in the second half in those fourth quarter, you hit an important, important layup uh, near the end. So uh, how do you think you were able to you know, improve your shooting in the second half? Uh, my teammates and my coaches just kept encouraging me, encouraging me to be aggressive and keep attacking the basket, and the ball will fall in eventually, and it started to. So. Now, you mentioned staying calm as sort of the, one of the focuses of the game today. Mm -hmm. Towards the end of the fourth quarter, things got a little bit dicey after you had that comfortable lead. Things mm -hmm. kind of tightened near the end. Mm -hmm. What were you guys talking about in the huddle uh, during the timeouts just to each other? During that time, we had uh, some inbound sequences and things like that to try to hold on to the game. We were just playing with poise and just knowing, like, our defense works. So staying down, staying locked in and not fouling, but keeping your hands up um, was the main focus to be able to get in gaps as well. When someone's in help, someone will help you. And so just being able to play proper defense was really what we talked about. Anything else, guys? Thank you, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Or just go straight to questions. Uh.
Uh, uh, I can give an opening statement. That's fine. Um, yeah, I'm just really proud of our team. James Madison uh, is a great program. They have tremendous tradition. Um, obviously, uh, we're, we're new and learning, and uh, for our team to just uh, – you know, just be resilient throughout the entire game, and, and different players were able to um, contribute, and we had a lot of balance today. So just really proud of, of our effort uh, from start to finish. Now, your team was able to shoot six of fifteen from three point uh, three point range. How do you think you were able to generate such an uh, impressive ball and player movement and get great three point looks uh, throughout the entire game? Yeah, I think um, <clears throat> in the you know, UT Martin game as well as this game, those teams kind of switch it up in man or zone, and sometimes you get open looks um, in the zone, maybe easier shots than you do in the man from three. And I think they, since they were playing us some zone today, we were able to get some easier looks um, from our players uh, to knock down. Coach, towards the end of the game, obviously the pace slowed down a lot between all the timeouts. How did you use that time to adjust your strategies in terms of lineups and when you were calling timeouts to help secure the win for GW? Yeah, I mean, we wanted to take care of the ball. We wanted to, you know, get the ball in balance safely. That was really important. Uh, having good free throw shooters on the floor um, was also important. So just rotating in, you know, offense and defense. You know, you have to be in these situations um, to really let it play out. So I, I, I like these kind of opportunities, you know, that you get in the non-conference season. Um, but, yeah, I mean, we wanted to, you know, execute. We missed, like, a layup. But we already made the free throws. And we were able to get stops on defense at the end. You mentioned in, in Iowa, and Iowa mentioned it as well, using the experience from the games over this past tournament uh, to help you today. What kind of points are you looking for coming out of those games? Obviously, a different environment, uh, far different, different opponents coming into this game. What are you looking for from the team? Yeah, I think, you know, we came back from Puerto Rico, so, uh, you know, it's 85 and sunny, and you're coming here, and it's a little colder. So, obviously, and with the travel, you know, Players are worn down, and, you know, it's a great experience to go somewhere like that for Thanksgiving, but just, you know, wanting them to be fresh and ready. And so I was, you know, uh, and, and it's finals week is coming up, so, you know, just a lot of things to kind of factor in. So what I'm most proud about is just, like, how we were able to, to come away and, and, again, start to finish, just be really solid. Um, for us, scoring double digits in all four quarters is something that's important, you know. We've struggled with scoring, um, but we know our defense is solid. So um, just being able to build, I I think, um, you know, with every game, we're going to keep learning more and more about this group, and different players have continued to step up throughout the course of our season so far. Hi. Um, congratulations on your win tonight. Um, you talk a lot about the physical aspects and taking control of that. How about mentally? The whole game was very, very, very close. You guys led most of the time. How are you able to keep your, on your end, the coaching side, able to keep the players concentrated, focused? not pay too much attention to what was going on around them and just, you know, play and do what they do best? Yeah, I think that's something that we talk about, you know, a lot. We don't really play the scoreboard. You know, we just we play each possession, and we try to take away the scoreboard. So we want to get stops on defense, and we want to score on offense. So we talk about being locked in, being focused when we come to practice, you know, be where your feet are. So we really are mindful of, you know, what an environment's going to look like and try to obviously simulate a game-like environment as much as possible in practice, but just understand, like, when we get to the game, you know, we're, we're going to block out all that noise. Now, you were able to shoot nine more shots than James Madison. A lot of this was because you forced um, 16 turnovers from their, um, from their part. So how do you think um, your defense was able to do such a good job of getting them to fumble and turn over the ball? Yeah, I think I'll have to go back and watch a little bit more of the film, but I just think, you know, from our on-ball defense to the positioning off the ball, you know, all those things are important, our rotations. Um, we, we talk about getting tips and deflections. We want to convert, you know, from defense to offense as well. Um, so we're getting better at those things. Uh, you know, James Madison plays a style that we hadn't necessarily seen so far in, in a dribble drive type of an offense. So uh, I think that'll be really good for us, you know, moving forward to have this game under our belt. How important was it to have Naya, Naya back on the floor um, tonight? Yeah, absolutely. You know, she was just getting her feet wet in Puerto Rico, and uh, it's never easy to just find your role, you know, in those first games. Um, but I think she's settled down and settled in, and she's starting to feel more comfortable. Um, you know, we're really excited that, that she's back and she's with us now. And, uh, yeah, she was, she was terrific today. Coach, you were... Uh talk about defense. I remember in the A-10 media days, you were talking about wanting to have a strong defense. 
has five wins so far this year, all five games keeping the opponent 50 or under with points. You know, early on, it's only eight games in, but how, how great does that feel knowing that, you know, you guys are getting the job done defensively and you're putting points up to get wins so far? Yeah, I think it's really important, you know, as a coach, you come in and you want your team to establish the identity that, that you want. And I think our team has bought into the, that type of identity, um, as you can hear them talking about, you know, how important it is to us. And so I think we have a room full, you know, of women who are committed to, to playing defense. You know, we have some numbers that we like to hold teams to. I know they averaged 65 points a game. I said, we're going to have to hold them to 45. We can score 46. Um, but luckily, you know, we, uh, we held them 15 points on their average. I mean, that's terrific for our team to be able to do. And I, I thought we could will our way for a couple extra points. Coach, do you have an update on Ty Moore who went out late in the game with an injury? No, I, I don't have an update on her. Coach, um, in the third quarter, the Madison got back into the game. It looked like they might have been taking over a little bit. And you kind of let GW play out. And Webster knocked down a couple of shots and sort of helped steady the ship. What, what's your mindset when you're deciding to let GW kind of keep rolling through those possessions and sort of beat back the run on their own rather than having to call that out? Yeah, I think as a coach, I want to have composure and I want them to have confidence, you know, in each other and our team. So the more um, that, that I allow them to play and we play through those things, I think the better that, that we're going to get. I think we have a really sh tight knit group um, and and they'll fight for each other. And so when we when they feel that, um, you know, they don't need it to come for me in a timeout getting on them, but they can they can we can relax ourselves and, and play through those types of things. Uh, your team executed um, your offensive sets um, extremely well throughout the game. What do you think has helped your team play so well together and for each other, um, like unselfishly, uh, both on defense and on offense now? Yeah, I think first we're connected off the court, um, which is really important. It helps that connectivity on the court. So we always, um, you know, talk about that. And, um, yeah, I think the more that we play together, the better that we're going to get. And that's the exciting part of being young and coaching this group is there's a lot better. There's a lot there's a lot of things that we can still build upon um, from where we are right now. Last few questions, guys. Um, so after, like, a big win and a big game like this one, how do you prepare for your next one? Yeah, well, my philosophy, we're going to enjoy the win. And, you know, uh, it's important. It's not easy um, to do. And everybody has poured, you know, a lot into uh, this game today. So we're going to enjoy um, the rest of the night when we wake up in the morning. Um, you know, that's that's when our focus again starts on, on Virginia. But, um, you know, I think that, uh, you know, rest is important. For this group, some people need different things than others. You know, the people that didn't get to play as much. Uh, tomorrow is an opportunity for them to get a little bit more on court. Skill development, player development is something that um, we really value. And we want those players to be ready when their name is called upon. We talk about that all the time with our team. So, again, tomorrow is probably more of a mental day than it is a physical day. Um, and that's just part of our, our preparation with these quick turnarounds. Thanks, Coach. All right, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Do you want me to send you that